My name is Carola Wenk. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Computer Science at Tulane University. Um, in the department, we focus on computer science at the interface. So um, we believe that computational thinking is a core skill that's important in almost every area of study or research um, out there. And therefore, we actively pursue collaborations um, with other departments across campus and uh, across schools. So my particular research area is in algorithms, um, in particular in computational geometry. Now, algorithms can be seen as the art of computational problem solving. So uh, we develop an, an algorithm, which is an, an abstract program, and then we um, d provide quality guarantees, such as time or space efficiency um, for it. Now, in my group, we work on geometric algorithms, in particular on matching discrete geometric shapes. So what is a discrete geometric shape? Um, one example is point sets. So, for example, if you consider fingerprint identification. So, a fingerprint is usually identified by first um, finding feature points on the fingerprints. So then you have a point set and then you compare that set of points to a database of point sets. Uh, representing all possible fingerprints out there. So you end up comparing point set features. But of course there are other types of shapes as well. Um, and in my group, for example, we work a lot with GPS trajectories. And of course uh, GPS trajectory data is, is ubiquitous. And the question is, what do you do with this kind of data? How do you analyze it? Um, what do you want to get out of it? And one of the first basic questions are how to compare trajectories, how to find patterns. But for this, we first need a distance measure between trajectories. And one of the distance, me distance measures we work with in our group is the Frechet distance. Um, and let me show you how that is intuitively defined. So consider two curves, such as the green curve and the blue curve in this example. And uh, now consider a man walking on one curve and a dog walking on the other. And of course, the man holds the dog at the leash. Now, they're supposed to walk on their curve from beginning to end. And uh, notice how the leash changes when they do that. Um, and the idea is that they're only allowed to go forwards. They're not allowed to jump and they cannot go backwards. And the Frechet distance is now defined as the smallest leash length necessary that they need to traverse both curves. Now, instead of having just one or two trajectories, now consider 26,000 trajectories. So those are trajectories from cars on a road network. And wouldn't it be nice if we could ex extract the underlying road network? That's a task called map construction that we work on in my group. Then another question is, well, what if I have two different roadmaps um, that describe the same underlying road network? Where do they differ? Which one is the better roadmap? Um, here on the left, you see a set of trajectory data, and we ran two algorithms to construct two different uh, roadmaps from it, which are uh, shown overlaid on the right. Then we defined a distance measure between roadmaps that is based on uh, persistent homology, and um, that identifies the local distances between the roadmaps. And a uh, red color is a large distance and a yellowish color is, is a smaller distance. And as you can see, our distance measure really picks up the differences between the roadmaps quite nicely. In my group, students at all levels are tightly integrated into research projects. And we usually have joint collaborations together and we work with students and faculty across Tulane and, in fact, all around the globe. So this is an exciting research area and we're always looking for new collaborations and for new students to join our team. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.